Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube Astrological segment, I'm going to be giving you my Aries July 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two. And yes, this does apply and pertain to the sun, moon, and ascendant. Anyway, people, first thing up is as far as July goes, the sun will be in Cancer from the 1st until the 23rd, so the 4th house will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time, this could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on one's home, family, emotional security, uh, roots, ancestry, traditions, uh, who you are at the core, the latter and end part of life. Uh, the less dominant parent, which is often the mother, and those that you're close to home with. Now, given that this is cancer energy, this may be done with a lot of tenacity, a lot of care, a lot of nurturing energy, a lot of devotion and dedication and diligence as well, and a lot of clingy energy, and a lot of protectiveness, especially in matters connected with your, your home, your family, those you're close to home with. And... In some cases, this could be about uh, perhaps a focus on a rather temperamental uh, family member or someone you're close to home with, and also focus on protecting those you're close to home with, your home, your family at this point in time. So anyway, well, the next thing up is as far as July goes, the sun will be in Leo from the 23rd until the 31st. So the fifth house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. At this time, there could be a strong concentration of energy, focus, and attention on creative endeavors, enjoyment, love, romance, hobbies, personal popularity, investments, speculation, even gambling, and children uh, at this time, and even sports. Now, Given that this is Leo energy, this may be done with a lot of generosity, a lot of that Leo-like ferocity, and a lot of that standing out energy, a lot of attention-seeking energy, perhaps with a lot of vibrancy as well, and using a lot of that, um, you could say that inexorable type Leo energy. Uh, Aries is usually very, as a lot of vitality and energy anyway. But uh, also at this time as well, in some cases, this could uh, shine the light, so to speak, on a rather flamboyant or even ostentatious child or lover at this time. And given that this is um, you know, Leo energy and you're talking about the focus, the sun is the focus in the fifth house, this could also be focusing uh, that attention on really on, um, on perhaps on, on really just being very generous in fifth house related matters and a lot of creativity uh, as well given that this is um, Leo energy and uh, the fifth house so anyway next thing up there will be a new moon solar eclipse in cancer on July 2nd so the fourth house is well be emphasized and highlighted now, given that this is going to be a solar eclipse, this is like a new moon, but much more powerful, could be more sustained, life-altering. In some cases, this could be a very life-altering purchase of a new home. Um, it could be um, something that really lasts for a very long time, very sustained period. Um, it could be moving away. From a, from a place that you had been at for a very long period. This could be also, in some cases, the departure, in some cases, of a, of a Cancerian dominant male or one you may have been close to home with or a family member. It could be a Cancer sun, moon, or ascendant person or one that embodies Cancerian traits. This could be a time to sometimes this could uh, be about manifesting the arrival of a new dominant male cancerian person again it could be somebody that's a cancer sun moon or ascendant or one that embodies cancerian characteristics it could be somebody that's going to be cl you're close to home with or factor in prominently in that latter or end part of life it could be a time where you might initiate a cancerian business out of the home it could be some kind of laundry caregiving cooking something um, it could be some uh, you might be dealing doing some kind of home renovation or remodeling, anything that could be Cancerian uh, related. Um, and also could be a time to 
we might begin to start nurturing or doing some caregiving to a, a pants uh, to a home or family member or someone you're close to home with at this time um, so anyway well, um, the next thing, and it could also be a time too, where Dom start a, a connect, start of a connection with a dominant Cancerian male, again could be tied into your safety and security, and emotional security, and again that lend that end or latter part of life. Next thing up, there will be a full moon lunar eclipse in Capricorn on July 16th, so the 10th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted at this time. In some cases, this could be about the culmination or completion of a Capricorn-like career. It could have been something that you had uh, that was very enduring, that lasted for a pretty good time, that had a certain longevity. It could be something connected, just something with business or dentistry, accounting. Uh, it could have been general mundane work, anything Capricorn-related. Now, in some cases, too, this could be about the departure of a Capricorn dominant female at this time that may have played a very strong role in your stature in life, your social status, prominent in your career. It could be a Capricorn sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Capricorn traits. It could be a time when you finally become rather tired, full, exasperated at an overly negative or pessimistic person that may have felt like inhibited you from attaining greater success or stature in life or even a position of authority or really really going higher in terms of your career could also be about a self-revelation that perhaps that maybe just being overly pessimistic negative cynical might have impacted you from gaining a greater stature in life or even maybe gaining notoriety or recognition in some capacity so um, it could also be aware a career move that re that really uh, consisted of a lot of planning or premeditation is finally complete. Anyway, next thing up, Mercury will be in Leo as far as July goes from the 1st until the 19th. So the 5th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. Now at this time you might find yourself perhaps dominating conversations with children, with lovers, people who share some kind of fun, amusement, or thing of enjoyment with. It could be a time where you find yourself perhaps speaking with more authority and some confidence and self-assuredness regarding matters connected with speculation, investments, love, uh, romance, attaining personal popularity. And you might find yourself more bragging and boasting more about fifth house related matters at this time and also it could be about a lot of creative thinking at this time which could play i mean be something that you truly enjoy at this time as well and also uh, too you might be dealing at this time with leo uh, more leo siblings they could be leo sun moon or ascendant people or simply ones that embody leo traits that might figure strongly and prominently in your fun, amusement, enjoyment, your creative endeavors, attaining personal popularity, and might also be giving you some kind of advice regarding investments at this time as well. You might be also thinking about extravagant investments and also being more gregarious with your communications might play a stronger role in attaining greater personal popularity at this time. Next thing up, Mercury will be in Cancer as far as July goes from the 19th until the 31st. So the fourth house as well be emphasized and highlighted will be retrograde during this time. Uh, this could manifest perhaps in reminiscing uh, regarding uh, past hurts, uh, perhaps connected with your home, your family members. Um, it could be revisiting conversations in which you were very sensitive to criticism and ridicule from fourth house people such as those who are close to home with home family members, the less dominant parent, which is often uh, the mother. You might find yourself also going back to mental plans connected with having safety and security at that end or latter part of life and also talking about 
cancerian qualities you may have at the core, such as being sympathetic, nurturing, caring, diligent, devoted, uh, tenacious. Hold on a moment, people. Sorry about that, I'm back. But anyway, um, could also be about, again, I mean, Mercury can also be about siblings. This could be about Cancerian siblings. It could be Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant people, or simply ones that embody Cancerian traits. It might figure more prominently, perhaps in your emotional security, your home, your family life, and maybe even uh, your latter or end part of life and getting maybe that safety and security and connection with that, perhaps. So anyway, Next thing up, Venus will be in Gemini as far as July goes, from the 1st until the 3rd. So the 3rd house is well be emphasized and highlighted. If you're unattached at this time, Aries, you might connect with the Gemini sun, moon, or ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Gemini characteristics. It might be somebody in your neighborhood that you might know through your short journeys, maybe someone from your early education. You might actually get involved with more than you might be with two lovers simultaneously. They might be superficial ones um, if you're unattached at this time, Aries. And also this could manifest perhaps in valuing communication, inquisitiveness, versatility, variety, dexterity, and loquaciousness, perhaps with siblings, cousins, neighbors, people you know in your short journeys, people from your early education, uh, perhaps, and also too, you might find yourself spending money as fast as you make it on short journeys. It could even be your vehicle, things with local transportation, maybe people you know from your early education at this time. So anyway, well, last but not least, Venus will be in Cancer as far as July goes from the 3rd until the 18th. So the 4th house is what will be emphasized and highlighted. You might find yourself showing unconditional love, unequivocal unconditional love toward your uh, home and family members more so than usual. Also about valuing sympathy, tenacity, being nurturing, sentimental, and sensitive in fourth house matters at this time, and also valuing perhaps safety and security for that latter or end part of life. You might find yourself at the same time spending tenaciously on getting in touch with your ancestry and your roots at this time. If you're unattached at this time, Aries, you might connect with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant person, or simply one that embodies Cancerian traits. It could be somebody uh, that might figure very prominently in your uh, latter or end part of life, and somebody that could be tied in very strongly to your emotional security. And also it could be about expressing really that love of expression of your Cancerian qualities at the core, such as being uh, nurturing, sentimental, sympathetic, tenacious, devoted, diligent, dedicated, protective at this time. And you might find yourself making money doing Cancerian things out of the home. It could be a family business, doing home renovation, remodeling, cooking, cleaning, doing caregiving, anything that could be Cancerian uh, related. So anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment for my Aries July 2019 horoscope forecast part one of two. Stay tuned next time where I'll be giving you my Aries July 2019 horoscope forecast part two of two. Two things I want to get you on before I head out. Firstly, the stars may impel, but do not compel. And secondly, never isolate any single astrological element, aspect, monetary placement, position, configuration, influence, or what have you, and make an analysis of a person, astrologically speaking, based on this alone. Because astrologically speaking, the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart, and not just one. Until next time, people, stay well.